Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am unboxing for you a Caitlin Cross Strong Harp. Um, so this is a Pakistani harp, um, which after my experience with Mikkel harps, I said I would never ever get again. <laughs> um, but here we are. <laughs> So uh, the reason that people will often advise against Pakistani harps is although they seem cheap, which they are, um, they are also cheaply made. Um, and often the biggest problem is the levers. Uh, so I decided to get this harp <laughs> knowing that cross strung harps have no levers and um, at only $450 I am not expecting it to last for a super long time, but I think it'd be really nice to have a cross-strung lap harp. So, let's open it up and see how big of a mistake I have made. <laughs> the first thing that I noticed when I got this was, uh, as you can see right here, there is a pretty sizable gap here leading directly into the box. So. Um, not packaged as well as one might hope, but uh, we will open it up and see how it looks inside. <laughs> so let's open her up. This is a really easy, just lift off the lid sort of box. And in here I got lots of bubble wrap. really nicely wrapped up. So let's get this bubble wrap off. And the cardboard. Alright. And here we go. Cute little owner's manual stuck in the strings there. So here is the Caitlin Harp all unboxed. Um, now this has 38 strings, um, which is roughly equivalent to a 22 string lap harp, um, plus the additional cross-strung chromatic strings. Um, some things that I'm initially noticing, uh, the nylon on these strings is like rough. I'm used to very smooth nylon, so that's a little different. We'll have to see how that sounds once I get it all tuned up. Um, and looking at the tuning pegs, it's kind of easy to tell that the wood is a veneer, because um, where the tuning pegs and the bridge pins have been screwed in, you can see some flaking of the veneer. Um, so that does make me wonder <laughs> what kind of wood is underneath <laughs> this veneer on the on the harp here. Very interesting. Um, <laughs> some other things to note. Um, this I think is a newer version of this harp. It's got string ribs um, on the top of the soundboard and interestingly also behind the soundboard. Um, you can see them back there. Oh, there's secret goodies. <laughs> there is a bubble wrap package back here, but I don't know. Okay, there we go. I didn't know if I was going to be able to get it out of that sound hole. Let's see what's in here. Oh, it looks like... Okay. Here is a whole extra set of strings and also the tuning key, which is absurdly tiny. Look how tiny that tuning key is. It's like the length of my finger. <laughs> That's kind of cute. So I'm excited to use that. That'll be fun. Um, so here's my unboxing video. Um, again, I have to say, if you are starting the harp, um, not a harp that I recommend. Please don't do it to yourself. 
<laughs> you can get a nice harp. Um, you can rent a harp through uh, Vermont Violins. That's where I rented my first harp from. And uh, it's a rent to own program, so you get to keep it, and the monthly payments are minimal. So, like, honestly, there's no reason to buy a harp like this unless you are um, just curious and have some money to spend, which is kind of the situation that I was in. So, <laughs> we're just gonna see what it's like. I'll be putting up a review in a couple weeks, and uh, then you can see. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Hello everybody and thank you so much for watching my channel. Um, if you want to click the subscribe button right up there, then you can subscribe to my channel and see all my new videos. And if you would like to check out my Patreon, the link is down there in the description. <laughs> thank you all so much. Have a wonderful day.